Did you know that you can get the world's best sandwich right here in Las Vegas? I'm Danny702 and welcome to Las Vegas. Today we are visiting a very trendy and a new spot called Uncommons right here on the Southwest Valley of Las Vegas. And this is where you'll also find the legendary Al Lentico Veneo, known for some of the craziest hype sandwiches in the world. And we're gonna see if they live up to it. After that, we'll cool down with some seriously delicious and very unique ice cream at Salt and Straw. So this is the Uncommons, located in the Southwest Valley of Las Vegas, about 15 minutes from the Strip. Right across the way, you'll find the brand new Durango Resort, and this part of the valley has really been booming lately. The Uncommons is new to Las Vegas, and it's supposed to redefine how people live, work, eat, and play in this dynamic city. It's a 400 million mixed-use project with apartments, office space, shops, food, and they plan on adding even more, like a movie theater, for instance. It's a vibrant community with everything you need without leaving the property. All right, first things first, we've got to grab a coffee from Earth Cafe. There's a sign here that says, Earth Cafe is the first coffee house in America to roast exclusively heirloom and organic coffee, which creates a rich, aromic, smooth, and is the healthiest and purest coffee on Earth. They have a nice, array of desserts on display in the bakery. Ooh, banana cream pie. These are pretty hearty slices too. Pecan, apple pie, chocolate cake, tiramisu. There's even bigger slices of cakes at the bottom here. You can also sit and eat. They've got quite a few items on the menu, not just coffees. Breakfast favorites, brunch and lunch. A lot on the menu for their cafes, or their coffees, espresso bar, a Spanish latte, what sounds really good. French press, cocoa, here's the boba as you can see they have them on ice and even blended. Bunch of organic teas. I ended up getting a Cafe Bibero. It's a short espresso layered with sweetened condensed milk. I gotta give it a good stir. It's very very thick at the bottom with that condensed milk. This was $4.75 for a single shot. They also have an option for a double shot. Here's the thing, it took kind of a while for them to make both drinks. I think they made mine first really quick and then it took kind of a long time to create the ice drink. And unfortunately, mine is now very cold. <laughs> Usually your espresso is pretty warm, but this is kind of cold now. And my mom went with the honey vanilla latte, which has natural vanilla, a touch of honey, espresso, and steamed milk, and that was at 650. You can hardly taste the coffee though. It's so so sweet. Sometimes you, you know, sometimes I love a good sweet coffee. Lately, though, I've been doing very very little sweetener in all my coffees, but. That is really, really good. And it's nice because they use honey and no like big sugars or anything like that. This is the outdoor space. Plenty of seating, plenty of shade, nice greenery, beautiful string lights that light up in the nighttime and see a couple different venues set up around it. This is Total Bien, which is a Mexican hiki bar. It's they got margaritas on the menu, michelada, served in like tiki inspired cups. Ooh, look at this one here. It's like a little cactus. Definitely we will be back. But we are now walking towards the Sundry, which is the food hall here. The best reason to visit the Uncommon in my mind is the highly rated food options all in one spot. And the Sundry is the heart of it all, which is a food hall unlike any other in Las Vegas. This is a trendy food hall featuring local Las Vegas chefs and famous food options from across the US. I haven't seen a place like this in Vegas. In Florida, there were plenty of spots that were very similar to this, like in Winter Garden. So it's really cool to see something like this in Vegas. Yeah, Vegas now has a lot of food halls, but just look how original and unique this setup is. Now, there are multiple restaurants within this one building in the Sundry. When you order, most of the food options utilizes the same kitchen. Now you'll also see these QR codes placed everywhere because basically that's how you're gonna order. But you can order from your phone, multiple locations, multiple spots. They use the one kitchen. They love that you don't have to stand in multiple lines if you want to order different places. And it smells and looks just fabulous in here. Over in this corner, there's BS Taqueria, which looks like they have their own kitchen in the back there because there's a hostess that will seat you. Kind of looks like 
more of a restaurant style behind here. Oh, full bar in there too, a couple of full bars. It looks like there's a sushi bar. Over there is the taqueria. Okay, I am uh, loving this little container with the cartoon characters on top. There's the Ninja Turtles and Yoshi. Toad, Mario, Luigi. Oh, just got distracted by the baby Yoda too. <laughs> Plenty of drinks, Japanese whiskey it looks like. Hang out and catch up with friends or family. You can use it as a workspace while you eat. Every time you come, you can get something different. Very cool spot. And not only do they have the food hall within the complex, but there are quite a few standalone shops. The Uncommons itself is a cool outdoor space with a real community vibe. More food options like Mercarito, empanadas, and cheese rolls Ooh, what's a cheese roll look at the yummy empanadas that they have oh my god they have the guava and cheese i have been looking for guava and cheese for quite a while okay we might have to get one of those and there's the cheese balls but alantico veneo is the spot with the biggest hype and i do apologize if i am pronouncing that wrong now apparently this sandwich shop is known to be one of the best street food experiences in the world and it has been crowned as having the best sandwich in the whole entire world as well that is some pretty big shoes to fill right so let's go try it so this sandwich shop is originally from florence italy and they've been around since 1991 the best street food experiences in the world and home of the world's best sandwich looks like they range from 15 dollars at the lower end all the way to 20. They're famous for their schiacetta bread, which is a Tuscan flatbread that's kind of crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside. So there are definitely a lot of options here. All kinds of meat, cheeses, spreads, and veggies. A lot of ingredients that I'm not super familiar with, but hopefully we will get familiar as we eat here today. I'm pretty excited about this. It smelled really good in there. Very friendly staff, very helpful staff as well. Well, they are a little bit pricey, but look how big these sandwiches are on top of having just fresh and premium ingredients boy I have never had a sandwich quite like this before I'm definitely looking forward to it okay over here is the New Yorker which is what my mom ordered so this is $19 and it has roast beef porcini cream tomato and arugula then I got the La District which was $17 and this has pancetta pecorino cream which is like a cheese cream then it has sun-dried tomato and arugula I'm gonna try my mom's here first which was the New Yorker there's something about grabbing a nice cold sandwich on a hot beautiful day like this it just hits so different this is really good very different flavors in here than I'm used to but they blend together very very well and the bread is awesome definitely got that crunchy outer layer and then the inside is nice and soft let's see the cheese sauce in there the sun-dried tomatoes arugula the texture of the bread is like satisfying as you crunch on it this one's really amazing with the cheese sauce and it definitely has like a really nice blend with all the fresh ingredients in here uh, i can see the hype i can definitely see the hype different than a sub you know different than the sandwiches i think that most of us would be used to i mean even just looking and holding it more like a flatbread sandwich mm -hmm. it's very good though yeah i would say the only thing is i wish it had a little bit more meat but otherwise the ingredients are really good really fresh you definitely gonna have leftovers which is a good thing so it makes two meals for 17 dollars. we also couldn't resist over at the mercarito a little market the cuban market and we went in for a guava and cheese empanada it's a different style than what my grandma makes that's for sure but i feel like the flavor is going to be somewhat of the same and then we also got the cheese roll that's like a crunchy <laughs> <laughs> all right cheese roll very flaky does yours have cheese Ooh, yeah look at that this is what I'm looking forward to. Oh my god. Mm. I thought I was just gonna take a bite and save the rest because we've got one more spot to go to, but this is so good. Oh my god. My grandma makes them the best though, but that was really, really good. The next location is located right over my shoulder. So this place is known for its crazy and unique flavors. Salt and Stroll started in Portland, Oregon, and they use all natural ingredients and make their ice cream in small batches. So you're gonna find vanilla, gooey brownie, coffee and love nuts, but they also have interesting ones like honey lavender, strawberry honey balsamic with black pepper, pear and blue cheese, 
Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. There's one there called Bug Juice Sorbet. I do remember that around the Halloween time over at Downtown Disney, they had an actual ice cream that had bug parts in it. <laughs> this one is not like that. There is no trace of bug in the Bug Juice Sorbet, but I might end up doing, we'll do two different ones. We'll, we'll try a, a couple of different ones, not just vanilla. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Pricing starts at $6.50 for a single, $8.50 for a double. They also have a kid. We both got a split scoop. They're about $7.50 each, and you get just some smaller scoops, basically, so you can try multiple. Mom got the lemon curtain whey on the top, and then I believe the honey lavender, right? Yes. Because that's what I got here. So I got the honey lavender on the bottom, and then on the top, I got the bug juice. They did give us a couple samples while we were in there, so I did try the pear and the blue cheese, which was pretty good. <laughs> I was surprised because I'm not a fan of blue cheese, but it was a very subtle flavor and it was very, very creamy. The other one I tried had the balsamic in it and that one was a little too much for me. It's not as strong as I guess I thought it would be as far as the lavender goes. The lavender is a very subtle hint in there. Same with the honey though. Kind of tastes like a, a tea. The honey lavender tea. <laughs> and so the bug juice was a sorbet. The bug juice is good. It tastes like a punch. Like some, some sort of a punch. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Uh, my bug juice isn't supposed to have bugs in it. <laughs> it's a tiny little, it flew in. Oh. I, I saw it fly in. It, it wasn't that it came with it. <laughs> There's a little tiny, tiny little gnat in it. The bug just was like, there's my juice, Whew, right into it. I don't blame him though, that's good. So there you have it guys, that sandwich definitely lives up to the hype. Was it the best sandwich I've ever had? I don't think so, but it was definitely a very unique sandwich. Had fun hanging out with my mom and trying new flavors and new things at a new spot like the Uncommons. I love showing you guys everything in Las Vegas, not only the touristy spots, but also the off the beaten path spots. And thanks so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe for more adventures in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.